now it's time for the SK Modified feature. Of course, they'll go around this track 35 times, and here's how they'll roll off. Starting on the pole, it is car number 56. That, of course, is Matty Adanti out of Old Saber, Connecticut. And right beside him, rolling off second in car number seven on the outside pole out of Clinton, Connecticut. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Glenn Colvin. Two rows back, starting third. It'll be car number 57. That is the number 57 for Mark Payne out of New Mill for Connecticut. And right beside him in car number 35, starting fourth, please welcome out of Sullington, Connecticut, Dennis Charette. Three rows back, starting fifth. It is Sean Monahan in car number 31. And right beside him, the man with the video camera in his back seat tonight, starting sixth, please welcome Jeff Pearl. Four rows back, he'll start seventh. It is the Silver Fox. He's in car number 84 out of Plainville, Connecticut. Please welcome John Bergenti. And right beside him, smoking Don Fowler. He's in car number 26, and he'll roll off eighth. Five rows back, this man will start ninth. It is car number five out of Lisbon, Connecticut for Chris Pasterak. And right beside him, starting 10th in car number 08. Please welcome out of Roxbury, Kurt Lenahan. The sixth row goes like this. Starting 11th, it is car number 09. That is Jay Miller out of East Granby, Connecticut. And right beside him, starting 12th, car number 51. Please welcome Rod Genevick Jr. out of Waterbury, Connecticut. Row seven, starting 13th. This man, of course, needs no introduction. He is the five-time champion of Waterford Speedball and your current uh, last week's winner, car number three, it's Dennis Gaeta. And right beside him, starting 14th, it's the Rocket, Robbie Summers. Starting 15th, it's car number one. That, of course, is Ronnie Silk. And right beside him, starting 16th in car number 17, out of North Brantford, Connecticut, Ernie Bertrand. The ninth row looks like this, car number 55. He'll roll off 17th, that is Mike Fegley, out of Flint, Connecticut. And right beside him, in car number 47, he's already won once this year, the always quick Sly Fox, Tommy Fox, number 47. In row 10, starting 19th, car number 27, out of Ledger, Connecticut, it's Tyler Chadwick. Right beside him, he won the first race this year. The current point leader, Ron Uhas Jr., starts 20th. Starting 21st, it is Wendell Daly. He will start in the 66th entry. And right beside him, starting 20 22nd, it is car number 82 for Pete Pavone and rounding out the field. Car number 77 is car number 14 for Ted Kane and Matt Weirgreen. So the stage is set for a great start and a little twitch. Colvin in trouble. Contact between Colvin and the 35 of Dennis Charette. And that is Cripple, the race car of our Eagle Scout, Glenn Colvin, and it has brought out the yellow. Also, Richard Durante winds up on the grass along with Tyler Chadwick in car number 24. So a little hectic first lap as the contact took place on the backstretch, and our point leader also has a problem, Ron Uhas in car number six. So apparently, it's not a great night to be a point leader tonight because we saw Norm Root getting it over Mark Payne. Remember, Payne was good in his heat race, but a dandy. Great recovery by Mark Payne. Mark Payne from the car of Mike Finkelday. We'll see him in serious. Mark Payne, like a rocket ship, goes right to the front. He moves right now by about a car length. In second, we have Matty Adanti side by side racing right now with Sean Monahan.
double file battle behind him. Very 
delicate position on the high groove. I talked to Robbie earlier. He said he knew he had power. Checkered flag. Jeff Pearl! And Chad Williams, our starter, the first man to congratulate Jeff Pearl at what was almost a clinic type of run. And he showed you when you're in the league how to preserve your race car and save something for the end. And he might have needed it because the combination of Summers and Gata was uh, breathing down his fire soon very quickly. Here he is out of the car, Jeff Pearl! Jeff, about the only word I can use to describe that is smooth. And that's the way you look tonight. Well, the car was awesome in the feature. Earlier during the day, we were pretty much junk and uh, the crew all pitched together with the help of others. And, you know, we made a shock change and we moved some stuff in the front and moved stuff in the back. And then we're like, well, maybe we just made too many changes. But uh, we just decided, you know what, let's just go with what we got. It seemed pretty, like it was going to be pretty good on newer tires. and. Uh, we just put it all together for the feature. Now, how concerned were you late in the race? It looked like Robbie Summers and Dennis Gata, they were gaining ground. Were you going as fast as you could or just as fast as you wanted to and maybe saving the car for a possible restart? Well, I was just trying to pace myself and not burn the tires off it. I figured we probably had at least five or six more cautions and I wanted to save the right rear for every one of them. So, I, I just have a lot of people I gotta thank here. Uh, my wife couldn't come tonight and today's her birthday, so. She's gonna miss out on that, and uh, my kids are gonna, are gonna be upset. 
but at least we got it out. Um, I really got to thank Larry's Auto Machine for uh, the awesome power on, on the restarts. This thing was awesome. Uh, m and Home Improvements, Chantock Motor, Darling Auto Parts, uh, Colchester Camera, uh, BDI, um, Carnes Automotive, Head Insurance. There's just so many people that I uh, hope I didn't forget anybody. I'm pretty excited to be here finally. And I don't know what you're going to learn from that tape because there's nobody in it. And you had uh, nothing but uh, blue skies in front of you for most of the race. Well, we try to uh, videotape every week or have somebody do it from the grandstands. And my brother in law doing it tonight. And uh, we just try to look back at the tape and try to watch the attitude of the car and critique, you know, what we can do to the car to make it better and what I can do to make myself a better driver and, you know, kind of see what the other guys are doing. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of great drivers down here and it'll be a real shame that this place has to close. So let's uh, rally and hope that we can keep this place going for a long time. Well, here's a man who turned a videotape into a highlight film, Jeff Pearl, the winner of our 35 lap SK Modified feature. Gary, Jeff Pearl is like he conducted a seminar tonight in tonight's video.